Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today we are going to be looking at how to install Squarespace plugins to your Squarespace site. Now, there are basically two ways to extend the functionality of your Squarespace website. First, you can use the official route, which is Squarespace integrations. Uh, I'm going to cover those on another video that I'm about to record very soon. But in this video we are going to be looking at Squarespace plugins. <coughs> now this is an unofficial way to extend the functionality of your site. These plugins are developed by you know you know developers outside of Squarespace. So this is really third-party stuff. And because of this Squarespace is not providing any customer support to these plugins. Uh, it could be different case with some of the plugins, like some developers are actually providing some support when it comes to installing a plugin, and that's one of the things that we are going to be looking at in this video uh, a little bit later. But uh, the official Squarespace customer support is basically out of the question. So. If you get stuck, you might get some help with the plugin developer, but uh, Squarespace is really <laughs> out of the question in this case. In this case. Uh, what else there is to remember when it comes to installing plugins? Uh, well, mm, the installation experience is very diff different, and especially if you have any experience on uh, installing uh, WordPress plugins. Uh, you know that when you install a plugin in WordPress, what it basically means in most of the cases, in most of the cases, is that you you'll just have to, you know, click a couple of times, and then the installation is done very quickly, and then you will have to do those final uh, customizations or settings through admin dashboard, and. When it comes to Squarespace, things are very different. So for instance, and what I'm going to show you later in this video when I'm installing a plugin, you will realize that you will have to copy and paste code. And not only that, but you have to be comfortable of tweaking the code a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not talking about uh, learning how to code because that's not what you have to do. But what I'm talking about is that there are certain elements that you want to tweak so that the plugin uh, integrates well into your brand and into your website. So you have to be comfortable with that. Uh, so that makes these plugins very different and the installation experience very different when it comes to Squarespace when compared to WordPress plugins. Uh, <clears throat> what's also very important to remember, and this is, I guess this is really dependent of the plugin developer that uh, the installation instructions are very important and actually how well they are written. So in this case, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you uh, a piece of pieces of instructions which are actually very well written. So they have, you know, clear writing and they have clear images. They show you which which code has to go where. So things are very well documented, but obviously I can't speak on behalf of every plugin there is. And if you are running any issues with plugin installations, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, click the link under this video, you will land a blog post and then you can leave a comment there, or you can leave a comment here on YouTube or if you land to my blog, you, you can also contact me through the contact form. So if you get stuck, uh, let me know and I'll figure out if there is a way I can help you. I can't promise you anything. I have a full-time day job and a family life and my, my, my time is very limited. But uh, if you have any issues, let me know and let's see what we can do about it. Okay. That's pretty much what I wanted to talk about plugins, Squarespace plugins on a general level. Now the next question is, 
where do you find these plugins? Well, I'm gonna show you three different places and obviously Google is your best friend here because uh, just, you know, Google a little bit, write Squarespace and plugins to the search box and you will find uh, different sites which offer plugins for you to download. Uh, but in this video we are going to be looking at three different places where you can download these plugins from. Uh, one of these places is, let's see, yeah, there is this site called Power, I guess this is really the way you pronounce this. It's a place for Squarespace plugins and uh, what's really nice about this is that uh, it seems that these plugins are free if I'm correct. Uh, let me just let me just click one of these links here to see if, if they say anything if they say anything about the pricing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned or as far as I, I understood that this site is free, so uh, it's obviously one way to get started with your plugin installations. So you will have to maybe take a closer look at this, but uh, yeah, this is really one of the places where you can start when you want to find new plugins for your site. Unfortunately, uh, oh yeah, it says here, <laughs> sorry, it says a complete library of free plugins, so this is a free site. Sorry about this confusion. Uh, the next site is called Knots and Ones. Now, the plugin that I'm about to install very shortly is actually from this very site. Uh, they also provide free plugins for you. And the plugin that I'm about to install very soon is called Countdown count, count Timer. Sorry. So this is the place where I downloaded this plugin from, so you will see a demonstration about that very soon. And then we have Square Studio, which also provides plugins. Uh, it seems that majority of the plugins that they provide are premium level plugins, which means that you have to pay a certain amount of money uh, to get them. But uh, if I remember correctly, that they also have some free plugins as well. So <clears throat> you'll just have to dig around a little bit to see what they have to offer and this is one place where you can download these plugins from and they also offer templates and some custom code services for you if, if you are interested about that. Okay good so now it's it's time for the demonstration and like I just showed you, I'm going to install a countdown timer to my Squarespace website. So what I have done already is that I have logged into my account and I have also created uh, a test page for this <coughs> dem demonstration called countdown uh, timer. And let me just uh, track this tab here so it's it's maybe a little bit easier to follow it like that uh, you know when you are looking at this page uh, this very plugin you will see that there are uh, very detailed instructions on how to actually install the plugin and these are the instructions that I am going to follow so that's these are the steps that the that the developer of this plugin has provided for us. So it's it's the safest route is to follow this. So uh, <clears throat> in that case, hopefully nothing goes wrong. Okay, so the step number one is to insert a markdown block. So first, let me just mark this area and copy it like this. And let me add a markdown block. So let me go to my Squarespace site 
and uh, the countdown timer page is already selected so let me just hover over this content area and click the edit link here on the page content uh, menu and here uh, I will just have to click this plus sign and then a, a new window opens up and then I will just have to scroll down a little bit and under this more section there is uh, this icon, icon which says code so click that and this is the place where I can paste this code now before we continue uh, let me just tell you a little bit about this uh, uh, window this code window obviously I will have to choose markdown like the developer suggested so let me just pick that one but uh, please be aware of this display source checkbox that you find over here so what it means is that uh, if this checkbox is checked what will happen is that this code that I just pasted here is displayed as is and you do not want that you want to make sure that this checkbox is unchecked so that the generated output is being displayed so just want to make sure that this setting is set correctly and and uh, you do not have any funny HTML code here on your page so this is the way that things should be so you have a markdown over here selected on this drop down and then you have this uh, uh, this option unchecked display source once you have made sure that these settings are correct click apply and then click save and you have uh, finished one part of this plugin installation and we are going to move on the next thing to do is to insert some JavaScript and no you do not have to learn how to code JavaScript there is this one section in this code that you have to modify according to your needs and there is the date because this is a countdown timer you want to make sure that the countdown time is the correct one in your particular case and it says here that uh, the values in bold this is the basically the setting that you can change this is a date format uh, this Y means year and M means month and D means day and as you can see that this is basically the date that they have set by default uh, on this JavaScript so all you have to do is to copy this piece of code and make sure that everything is being copied and then just uh, copy this uh, piece of code into the memory and you have basically two ways to paste this code you can either use site-wide code injection which means that this uh, code is being affected or this code is uh, basically uh, well not necessarily visible but injected into every page of your websites or you can use per page code injection where uh, this code affects only one part of your website only one page of your website and this is the setting that we are going to use in this very case so we are using this individual page header code injection or per page code injection so once you have the code copied to your memory on your computer once again choose the page that you want to edit and this in this case it's a countdown timer page and once again uh, you will have to go to the page settings by hovering over the the content area on your page and then click settings here and this page uh, window opens up and then you will have to choose the advanced top tab here on the right and then just paste the code over here and let me just 
Well, let me just um, yeah, I think that everything is 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 okay, and I'm going going to leave this date as is. So there is nothing else to be done here. Let me just click save. And what you will see that there are already some some uh, uh, changes visible on this site. Uh, obviously, the next step when you are following the following these instructions is to insert the CSS code to your site. So in this case, you will have to do some copying and pasting once again. Uh, let me just do that first and I will get back to the CSS section a little bit. So what it means is that there are certain sections here that you can change. And as the developer has documented, you can change, change color names. And in fact, you can do some other changes. Uh, the values, once again, the values in bold can be changed to suit your branding or site design. So there are uh, some uh, size-related settings. Uh, the font names can be changed over here. The font sizes, the colors, and that kind of stuff. Uh, so what will happen next is that you have to copy this code to to some to some uh, to certain area on your site, and this in this case we are talking about a custom CSS editor. So how do you do that? Well, you will have to if you switch back to the editing mode of your website, you will have to go back by clicking this arrow, and then go to the design section and then choose the custom CSS. Now here's the deal. I actually tested this plugin before and that's the reason why I have this code already here. And that's the reason why this actually this countdown timer started to look like this a little bit too soon for actually for this demonstration. Let me just show you how it would actually look if if this code wouldn't be here and this is this is most likely the case in your in your situation. So it looks like this. So let's assume that I didn't have the CSS code pasted here already. So this is the way the timer should look after you have copied the JavaScript to your to to this uh, to your page header or or when you have done the site. Oh, sorry, when you have done the per page code injection. So this is the way this timer would actually look, but when you paste the CSS, it looks like this. So this is the right way to, to proceed with these instructions. Sorry about that. Uh, I, I forgot that this code was already here, so that's why it looked a little bit different. It looked, uh, the product looked finished too early, so, so or the plugin looked uh, finished too early, so that's, that's why I was a little bit confused to see this this plugging working already. Uh, so, but anyway, once you have pasted the code here, uh, just click save and uh, uh, that confirms that all the changes are actually done. So yeah, now you have a countdown timer on your website. Uh, it's a Squarespace plugin. And yeah, I, I really hope that you found this video valuable. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me and uh, I will get back to you soon. Bye-bye.